Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This video is a continuation of a series I'm doing on boulot drop at different yardages. So if you're newer to the channel, what I'm doing is I'm going through a bunch of different cartridges. We're talking about boulot drop at different yardages. So for all my bing bangs, I side them in dead on at 100 yards. Well, at 100 yards, that's great, right? You're gonna hit what you're aiming at, but what about 50 yards? What about 200 yards? What about 300? What about even further? This video series is kind of a step-by-step -step and a simple explanation from me on the drop at different yardages for every cartridge I can get my hands on. Today, we're talking about 223 Remington. This one right here, is my personal 223 bolt action. This is my Remington 700 ADL in 223. Have done quite a few videos on this thing. Um, absolutely love this one. My sons and I did the paint job on it. There's a video on that if you want to check it out. I would call this a precision rifle. This thing can do some incredible groups. I'm talking about put them in the same hole. Uh, with the right ammo. But what I'm gonna do for this video, I'm gonna take this out to the range. We're gonna fling some rounds at 100 yards just to kind of verify our zero, make sure we're still on. Then I'm gonna bring it back to 50 yards. We're gonna see where the hits are on the target, whether it's higher, is it lower? Then we're gonna take it out to 200 and we're gonna see how far the drop is from our 100 yard zero. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to do little bit of uh, math and show you the drop in inches and also the dials for your scope at varying distances all the way out to a thousand yards. So 223 might not be your first pick for a thousand yards, but it will definitely do it. I've done it myself uh, and I know people who do it all the time. But with this one, this one right here, um, I've already filmed a hunting video with it. My son took this rifle on a ram hunt and took an awesome ram, huge ram, probably the biggest ram I've ever seen in my life uh, with the 223. Um, so I personally know 223 is absolutely a viable hunting round, even for deer or medium sized game. Um, I know several people here in Tennessee that whitetail hunt with the 223. Uh, but the ammo that I'm using for this video, big shout out to my buddy Lee. He loaded me up these 60 grain burgers which we found do the best out of this Remington 700. So 60 grain burgers, fantastic groups out of this thing. Let's go out to the range, have some fun. Again, I'll take you to 150 and then 200. See what we can do with this Remington 700 in 223 Remington. Check it out. We're the same hole. Hitting the same hole. Three in the same hole. So that was a whole lot of fun. Any time at the range is a whole lot of fun. Uh, let me get this 700 out of the way. Uh, but 
the trouble with going to the public range out there, uh, there's a lot of noise and <laughs> I can't talk to you like I normally would want to. So I brought the targets back here and let's just kind of review what happened there where I can actually talk to you guys. All right, so first we did 100 yards and here's our results here. There's two holes. I'm pretty sure I shot three times, but there's our 100 yard target there. I'm pretty, that's also trouble with going to the public range. I get back here and forget what I did. I think that's three hits in two different holes. I could be wrong, but like I said, my buddy loaded me up those burgers and they do amazing. Then at 50 yards, we've only got one hole there and I'm pretty sure that was two or three. So like I said, uh, that 223 really likes that ammo. So the, the point here for this video's sake is what's the difference in your 100 yard zero and your 50 yard hold? So you can see there, hardly any difference at all. If you're zeroed at 100, your deer pops up at 50, you can go ahead and hold the same spot. That's the, the conclusion here for that part. But we're dead on at 100, pretty close at 50. What happens at 200 when you're sending them an extra 100 yards? So what happened at 200? We get the paper out here. I brought my tape measure here too. So. Here was our group at 200 yards, and I'm holding up here. So we had one, two, three, four, five. Those three are inside of an inch. So uh, inside of an inch at 200, that's uh, half an MOA. Awesome, incredible group. Uh, these two right here are a little bit further out, but of course it could have just been me and my trigger squeeze. Uh, but let me mark the average. Um, Hit here at 200 yards, up and down is probably about right there. Left to right, the average is probably about right there. So we're gonna call that <clears throat> that brown mark right there, the average hit out of that group. And my kids' markers are all dried out. So let me measure here with my tape. The average drop here. So from the hold, I'm gonna do it flat so I can actually see it here about five and a half inches uh well no i better do it in a straight line there five inches so the drop up and down is almost exactly at five inches so uh, the whole point of this video again being what's the drop for the 223 if i were to be uh whitetail hunting with this 223 and Mr. Whitetail pops up at 200 yards, I would now know I should be holding with that ammo five inches above where I want it to impact if I'm doing it that way. Here in a second, let me go show you the drop in inches all the way out to a thousand. Also, uh, the dials for your scopes at different distances. All right, so here is the drop chart I just created all the way out to a thousand yards. You can see here the G1 ballistic coefficient is 0.271. Honestly, I thought it'd be higher than that for these burgers, but that's right off the burger website. These are the 60 grainers. So you can see here are the numbers dialed in for a hundred. This drop chart is saying it should be dropping 4.2 inches. So pretty close to the five inches that we saw in reality. Then you take it out to 300, 400, it's dropping over a foot, then 400, a little over three feet. Then on out to 600, this boo lot is going subsonic between 600 and 700 yards. Then you can see all the way out to a thousand it's dropping 633 inches, and you're going to have to dial 17 mils on your scope. And remember, this is with those 60 grain burgers and the 2810 feet per second bullet speed. If you have a different bullet weight or a different speed, it's going to uh, change what these numbers are. Inside two or 300 yards, it's probably going to be pretty close. But when you go out further than that, you're definitely going to need to enter in your own information to make sure that you're getting the perfect numbers for your setup. But this is the 223 drop chart, 
using my setup. All right, so pretty cool, huh? I always love seeing the drops and the scope dials. Uh, also, just for me, next time I take this out, I can just check this video. What's my drop and what's my dial? Uh, but, again, um, these numbers are not going to be perfect for all 223. So this is using my Bing Bang, my Bulat, which is 60 grain burgers, and my bullet speed. So if you want to know the exact drop for your setup, you're going to have to put in the, the data yourself. But all things being considered, within 400 yards or so, your 223 is probably going to behave pretty close to mine right here. Now, if you're talking about a short barrel and on a semi-auto, you're going to be getting slower speeds and it would have a little bit bigger impact on the drop. It's going to drop faster. This has a longer barrel, which means faster speeds. But 223 Remington with these 60 grain burgers, that's the drop. But appreciate you guys watching. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, we've hunted with this 223. Um, Y'all go check out those videos. We've got it painted um, with my sons. That was a cool video. Y'all go check that one out. But this is one of my favorites. It's always a lot of fun when you can get good groups and sometimes even put them in the same hole. Makes you feel like you know what you're doing. But <laughs> appreciate you guys watching this 223 Remington drop video. Comment down below which one do you want to see next. We've already done quite a few, so y'all make sure that you didn't miss those. Make sure you're subscribed. Appreciate y'all watching. Really, really means a lot. We will catch you guys on the next time. See you on the next one. Hootie hoo!